What's up, Reefers? Welcome back to another episode of Zoa Tank Boys. In this episode, guys, we're gonna be going to the Florida Frag Swap. Let's do this. Just made it into the frag swap. Got my protection on. Let's walk around so we can see all the really cool booths. This is the first show of the year. So if you guys know with COVID and everything, it's been super hard to kind of get these shows going. So let's see what they got. Come on, come on. Alright guys, so we're here with Daydream Corals. Hector just picked up some pretty cool frags. Hopefully you can hear me. The frag stuff is going incredible. Again, it's one of the first ones of the year, so hopefully we have a whole bunch more. And we can't wait to show you the corals that we got from this booth. All right, Reefers, first let's get a good look at some of the corals that I got at this frag swap. So I hadn't bought zoanthids in a very long time. So here we have some zoanthids that I've, some I've had, some I haven't had. So in the back, that was a freebie that I got from Riptide Corals, the Purple Hearts. You got the Rainbow Hornets, Pink Cracks, Acid Reflux. You can probably hear my dog in the back sneezing. These zoanthids to the left, I have been looking for these in every show. Those are called Shazams. And there you have the uh, speckled cracks. So I have been moving some stuff around. So we'll see how I feel about this, but I'm super excited I got these. You guys, reasons to go to shows is the prices are ridiculous. I mean, go online, research what these zoas cost per polyp. I mean, then you'd probably think I paid a couple hundred dollars. You wouldn't believe what I paid for these, but yeah, guys, super, super stoked about these. I can't wait for these to grow. Tank lights just turned on, so everything is somewhat waking up, but yeah, super excited about these. Alright guys, so this video is going to be a little bit of everything this week. 
So we just went to the frag swap yesterday, the Florida a frag swap in Lakeland, and I saw a little shop of horror frag that slipped away from me. So I went to get water at my LFS, which is Worldwide Coral in Winter Park, and they had the most amazing three-headed little shops of horror frag. Guys, I can't, I can't even, I'm super stoked about this. First of all, if you're a Zoa head, uh, which is almost like a sneaker head, but for Zoanthids, um, you know, Little Shops of Horror grow super slow and they're like ridiculously expensive. So the price on them was still the price from the show and I had points. So other LFSs out there, get a point system. It motivates people to shop there. So I got points, guys. I don't want to say how much I paid for it, but let me just tell you, it was, it was a deal that I couldn't even resist. So we're gonna go home. I got a whole bunch of water. So I do have today, Sundays, I do water changes. So water change, get that coral in there, guys. And I can't wait to show you that frag. All right, guys, so I just got home. Here's a little shop of horror in the bag. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna pop it off and put it on this brand new disc. Well, it's not a new disc, it's a disc I'm using. There's some glue that fell off of it. Yeah, so I'm gonna um, pop this off, put it in here, and then I'll put it in the display tank. So this frag does have a, it's a wild caught uh, Zola that I had bought, but it's on a little plug itself and it's not doing too good. So I'm gonna move it from where it's, I'm gonna put in my frag rack and I'm gonna reuse this tile because honestly guys, I'm out of tile. So that came off pretty easily. And I'm gonna reuse this water here. There we go. Let's try not to make a mess. which I'm failing at doing already. Whoop, yep. All right, so I want to do as little stress to the Zoanthid as possible. So, let's try to get them out. There we go. So I usually like to just pop the peg off. That way in the future, I could just pop it off if I want to reuse it or whatnot. That was pretty easy. This is my glue of preference. So a little dollop of glue. Get it wet. And then I'm actually just gonna put it in the center, like such. There we go. That's how I like to do it when I get a new zone until it starts growing out. So let's let this get in there, clean up this mess. And I'm gonna put this um, in the tank, low light, that way it can acclimate, um, and I don't wanna shock it too much. So let's do that now. Then after I let her fill up, I do, uh, I test my salinity to make sure the salt levels are good. Let's clean this mess up. All right, Reefer, so while the little shops of horror acclimate, let's take a look at the office tank, the anemone tank. I think it's looking pretty good. Pretty, pretty clean. So in the back, there's the rainbow bubble tip. He's been moving lately. And then I do have two black widows. Rainbow up there, there's a little bit of a little rainbow on there, and there's one that's in a little hole that just moved. I do have some Ghani frags that weren't doing too good in my display, so I put them here to see how they do. But so far, so good, guys. This tank looks so clean. I think the next anemone that this tank needs is definitely a green anemone. And some of those super, super crazy expensive ones, like the Colorado Sunburst, Chicago Sunburst. They had some at the show yesterday, but yeah, they were a little pricey. So, but what do you guys think? Let's add some blues to this so you guys get an idea of what it looks like with the Atenex. All right guys, so the little shops of horror have been in the tank maybe an hour, 
So they're starting to open up. There are three polyps. I'm trying to get a good focus here, guys. Those zoanthids are stunning. This camera is not doing it justice. So if you, uh, I would recommend follow us on Instagram because I, I am going to be posting updates on this um, once they fully open. But these guys are probably top 10 zoanthids in my book. So yeah, they're doing pretty good. Already opening up in about 20, 30 minutes. All right, Reefers, so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Zoa Tank Boys. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram. Leave a like, subscribe, and guys, till next time, Zoa Tank Boys out. <laughs> <laughs>